Although the United States entered World War II in December of 1941, major American action did not begin until November of 1942, when the Allies invaded North Africa to drive out Hitler's army and halt the German conquest of the world. So this is where we find G.I. Joe and the rest of the American forces, locked in deadly combat with a group of determined German forces. <laughs> Come on, man, we get all of them up. Oh. Captain, Captain, what do I do? Here. Man, they're too strong for us. I don't think we can hold them off much longer. Oh. Well, you send a diversioner. Lieutenant, where are you? I'm over here. Help me take me out. Ugh. What do I do? Send the diversionary force out. Maybe we can distract him. All right. Okay. Okay, you guys with me? We're going to create a diversionary force. All right, let's go. Then the airplanes joined the battle. First came the American P-40. <laughs> Then came the German Messerschmitt Mi-109, one of the most up-to-date and developed aircraft in the war. <laughs> the war was about to get even worse. And as the Americans strafed the Germans, The Germans strafed the Americans. And occasionally an airplane was shot down. Well, let's not forget about G.I. Joe and his group of followers who are trying to make a diversionary force and distract the Germans. All right, man, this is our chance. On the count of three, we'll... But he never got to finish his sentence. For all of a sudden, a German landmine exploded. The blast was so strong, G.I. Joe had no idea where in the world he was going. <laughs> oh, man. What happened? You guys, you out there? Tom? Bill? George? Um, Dan? You out there? Anybody? Come on, this isn't a very funny game of hide and go seek. Where'd everybody go? I was sure there was a war going on a minute ago. Boy, is it hot out here. Hmm, do I see anything? Hey look! A desert oasis! Maybe there'll be some water there. Water! Finally, at last. <sighs> wonderful, wonderful water. Oh, man. Yeah, this looks a lot like a corn patch. So. Get the better. Find some, uh, food. Dun dum dum dum. <laughs> Boy, shape nice. What was that? Hey, son, you see the corn? Mm, must have been a bird. Have you? No, corn. that's all back in your old. This must be a corn patch. Hey, you smell that? What is that? No. I smell the blood of an army, man. Mm -hmm. Be he 
dead or alive or he, he dead I'm trying his bones to make my friend I'm dead ah! 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 Yeah, where'd he go he What is that in there? Okay. This must be their garden. Yeah, this kind of looks like a squash plant. Whoa. There he is! Oh no! Ah! 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 Boy. What is this? Must be his porch. You know, his porch is probably the last place I expect me to be. That was quite a scare. This pretty nice looking porch he's got here. Maybe I'll see my guys off the edge. <laughs> oh, what a cute huh? little body! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Ah, what do I do? Ah, I just want to... Got him! Don't hurt him, don't hurt him, he's cute! Well, I caught him. So? He's mine. Okay. Get a cage. Your cage? I'm the one who found him! Well, too bad. Too bad what? Hurry up with that cage! I'm not a Barbie doll. Please, can I see him? Please. Well, so what should we do with them? We can eat them. Hmm. Shouldn't we squish them first? What? Cook them in boiling water. Why don't we make a shish kebab out of them? He's got that stick tied to his back. Huh? Hey, there might be more. Well, I've had an idea. Let's go look for some more. Great time today. Alright. I'll give you a deal. You tell us where your soldiers are, we'll let you go. But, if you don't, we're gonna have to do things the hard way. So yeah. make your choice. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Alright. All right. You had your chance, buddy. Get in there. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, cut turkey. Hey, What's no. going on? Find hope! The blast was so strong, G.I. Joe had no idea where in the world he was going. <laughs> oh, ow, that hurt. Oh, where's the lieutenant? Where'd he go? Joe, where in the world have you been? Your delay has nearly cost us the battle. You had better have a good explanation for disobeying orders. Oh, uh, well, sorry, sir, but, uh, uh, yeah, well, um, Incoming! G.I. <sighs> Joe continued to fight North Africa, helped liberate Italy, and took part in the D-Day invasion on June 6, 1944. He freed the Netherlands and Belgium from Nazi aggression and fought for the lives of his comrades during the Battle of the Bulge. All this and more did he and many other selfless heroes do to bring down Hitler's Nazi regime and restore freedom to the once enslaved people of Europe. Upon returning home, these men received a hero's welcome, but all too soon these brave veterans who left the comforts of home to fight and die for freedom in a foreign land were forgotten by their own countrymen. May we never forget the painful sacrifices and the terrible price these men paid so that we could have the freedoms we so often take for granted. And let us not forget to do our part and cast our vote against the forces of evil and oppression in our own government, 
and say no to those giants in our lives who try to make us betray our friends and fellow citizens. Finally, may we always be ready to lay aside our own hopes and plans to bring aid to those who are in need of help or without hope. For greater love has no man than this, that he would lay down his passions, his fortune, or his life for a friend.